Hello and welcome to the CS card video tutorial. My name is Alex and today I'll give you general information on categories. Let's begin. A large number of products in the store poses a problem of organizing them into sensible structure. And that's where categories come in handy. The system of categories enables you to build a catalog in a way of a tree, with multiple branches, making the navigation structured, intuitive and clear. The branches of this so-called tree are root categories and they are subcategories. By the way, each subcategory can have its own subcategories. The number of root categories and subcategories is unlimited in CS card. After explaining the structure of categories, let's take a closer look at the interface. In the position column, values regulate the order of displaying categories on a storefront. The name column helps you to find the desired category. Click on the name to edit the category. Products The number of products in the category. Usually products are assigned to subcategories so that it would be easier to find them in the future. They are displayed in the root category anyway. Use the last column to activate and deactivate categories. To the right, there is a total panel that gathers information on categories. Now let's turn to actions on categories. Use the plus button to add a new category. The gear button to manage several categories at once. You can add categories, edit selected ones and delete them. When doing bulk category addition, you specify only the basic information to identify this category later. You can also clone the information to speed up the process. Editing in a bulk mode looks this way. You select the desired categories. Then choose properties that require editing. And after that, edit them on one page. One more thing about deleting. Be careful when you delete a category. Child categories and the products under the category will be deleted automatically. Use the category gear button to deal with this category only. You can add products straight to it, edit the category and delete it. Well, that was a brief explanation of how categories work in CS Card. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card video tutorials.